hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well today's video is going to be another q a about working in the uk as a doctor i will try and answer questions that i have not covered previously the first question what specialities can i pursue after plab after plab and fy2 you can apply to any of the specialty training programs for example general practice, internal medicine, surgery, ops and gynae, pediatrics, ophthalmology, radiology, psychiatry. Some specialities will be more competitive than others, so do bear that in mind while choosing your specialty. The next question, what grade will I be in the UK after completing MBBS, PLAB and one year of internship? Job grades here are mainly based on your clinical experience and completion of membership exams. If you have completed MBBS, PLAB and one year of internship, you can apply for FY2 or SHO level jobs. If you have completed MBBS, PLAB and have two to three years of clinical experience or have completed postgraduate training, you can apply for registrar level jobs. The next question, is it better to do a non-training FY2 post or a standalone training FY2 post? Honestly, there is not much difference between the two. Both will allow you to gain all the FY2 competencies. As long as you have done a FY2 post and obtained the Foundation Achievement of Competency Document or FACD, you can proceed to apply for specialty training in your desired specialty. The next question. I am a Pakistani doctor. I obtained my primary medical degree from China. Am I eligible to take the PLAB exam and work in the UK without sitting for the PMDC exams? I am guessing the PMDC is the licensing exam to work in Pakistan as a doctor. As far as I know, to obtain GMC registration and work in the UK, all you need is a recognized primary medical degree, a valid internship year and PLAB. So technically, you don't need to take the PMDC exams if you want to work in the UK. The next question, is there any visa problems faced by international doctors about its high fees, which they have to pay annually? Or is it low enough to maintain our savings and a good standard of living? You will be able to easily afford the visa fees here. The doctor's salary here is pretty good. It should be enough for you to maintain a good standard of living in the UK. That is all for my video today. I hope you found this useful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!